All right, ladies and gentlemen, somehow, I don't even remember how I got here, but I just pulled myself out of a ditch with a pair of pressure tanks in the back of my truck. Uh, so apparently we're on the road again. My truck's having some difficulty, she is a bit damaged, and if you notice my steering's a little bit jerky, that's because I am, in fact, using my controller, which means... Let's try that. Uh, actually, options, controls, gamepad joystick. <clears throat> That's significantly better. Nice and smooth. Crossing the line a little bit. But it's not too bad. Let's get those wipers turned off. Nice and sharp on the brakes, it looks like. Yeah, I totally brake checked that car behind me. Oops. And so, yeah, here we are. Back in trucks. And just taking a quick glance at the time so I know when to stop. Because this episode is going to be a multi-parter, I can tell you that right off the bat. It's going to be a multi-parter, and uh, I'm not even entirely certain what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm just, I don't know. I think part of it is my scheduling. Um, I've been missing some episodes and falling behind on a couple series. Um, I'm actually doing an all-night recording marathon, because I have to go down to, not all night, but late recording marathon, because I have to go down to uh, Jersey, actually, on Friday to sell my grandmother's house. Let's, uh... Ugh. I hope there's a repair shop nearby. This is going to be a very long drive. Um, the engine doing that. I don't know. Did I leave off the last episode after having run into that ditch? I don't know. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I have to go down to Jersey so for a couple days, so I'm, I'm desperately scrambling, not desperately, but I'm scrambling to get all the video footage I could recorded, and I've just hit this point where it's like, if I see one more bit of Minecraft, I'm going to shoot myself. So I realized, I thought, I oh, I wonder if I still have a truck route open in this game, and uh, would you look at that, I do. So now we're just kind of driving, just kind of driving. That's my hazards. Not going to drive off the road. Oh, but this isn't too bad. Nice, nice day out. Nice night. It's uh, almost Monday morning in game. In real life, it is Wednesday evening at 10.06 p.m. And I'm driving a truck. Oh, grandparents. You know, you love them, and then they drive you absolutely bonkers sometimes. I love my grandmother dearly, but uh, she drives me absolutely crazy. Absolutely nuts some days. I mean, it's not... Well, okay, it is sort of stuff she does. Warframe. What the heck is Warframe? Sorry, I just got a Steam notification on my uh, hotbar. Um, I'm just wondering what the heck Warframe is. I'm a little hot coming through here, aren't I? I have no idea what the actual speed limit is, by the way. No idea whatsoever. I have my high beams on. Everyone can kind of deal with that. <clears throat> I need a chart. Like, I really need to put up a chart next to this thing. Alright, well, I get some fuel. That's, that's at least a good thing right there. One euro forty? Boy, that's cheap by American standards. Yeah, I need this though.
Alright, let me check. Because here's the thing. If I check my... I got another eight hours until I have to take a rest. Whoa, buddy! Come on, man. You know, okay, in real life, I would never, ever do that. I've been known to be an aggressive driver, but I would never cut off a truck that's already halfway in lane. Do you want to catch with that sign set that I just passed? I'm assuming the answer was a lot slower than I'm traveling. I want to see if there's a repair shop in this town. No. There is, there is in fact, nothing in this town. Take this corner kind of gently. If you ever have a truck trouble figuring out where your truck is compared to the road, check your rear views. They actually cover much further down than the cars do. So you can actually see where you are in relation to everything else around you. And also where your bloody trailer is. That's a tight turn. Let's give her a little bit of braking force coming down here. Now, I don't understand European stop signs, so... You know, I didn't see a train and the barriers didn't come down, so I'm just going to go through. Doesn't look like a bad choice. <clears throat> Alright, let's just get back to that. Got to have six hours, so I should get there before I actually have to rest. Okay, that's good. Well, that didn't sound happy. Yep, just kind of coasting down this hill, by the way. Letting my engine brake and keep me at a nice, decently slow clip here. Alright, then I'm going to have to turn up ahead. So, anyways, grandparents. Um, you know, we are trying to sell our house, and... There's kind of an unfortunate situation with the other owner who she's was never romantically involved with, is not married. He was kind of a business partner. Um, there's kind of an unfortunate situation. Neither of them are in good health. There are, you know, trustees involved and power of attorney and my mother's, my grandmother's power of attorney and it's all this mess. Let my speak a little high there. Uh, and it's all this whole messy, you know, stuff. Um, you want to come from anywhere? No? Okay. Alright, truck. Come on. Let's get up the hill. Push it. Push it. Come on. Come on. You're kidding me, right? All right, we are now on the road. I'll be so happy when I can drop this thing off and actually, you know, take a rest and get my truck repaired. It's struggling. My Volo is struggling. Struggling up the hill. Come on. Come
Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Stupid car is being able to go so fast. I'm all the way up in gear, and I'm struggling. Okay, now I'm struggling less because I'm going down a hill. I figure if I'm not going faster than the cars, it should be okay. But yeah, it's kind of like where my generation is right now. You know, I have a couple friends. We're taking care of our parents, our grandparents, and it's hard, you know, because all your life there are these people who've been, you know, not not necessarily people you look up to. Not that we don't look up to our grandparents, but they've always been these people who are, you know, self-confident and self-capable, and you know, fixing their own homes and sailing their own boats and you know, driving themselves places and taking you places and doing things, and then all of a sudden it's like they're not driving anymore, and, you know, you have to tell them that, you know, hey, it's, uh, it's, it's time to stop sailing the boat, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not safe anymore. You know, first, first you have to go out with your grandson, then, you know, you can't go out solo, so you have to go out with your grandson. Then, uh, well, okay, now you, uh, you can't really go out at all, you know, you can't really own a boat anymore, and, all right, you know, watching them stop driving and being driven places by other people. You know, these are these are people you've grown up your whole life that they're these these not important. Well, they're they are important, but these self-enabled people who can who can do whatever and you know, then they're next thing you know, they're cutting through power cords with circular saws. Um you know, you kind of realize that well, wait a second here, you know. <laughs> So that's what's getting so that's what getting old does to you, huh? But it's it's hard to do, and then it's hard to take care of them, you know? Because they're still people; they're not children. People, people, I don't think who've never been through taking care of, you know, elder care sort of a situation. Um, they'll say that you know, people, it's like it's like they're children again. No, no, it's not because they have all this life experience, and they're they're proud people, not proud in a bad way, but proud in a good way. They have a lot of life experience. And you can't just go around telling them, you know, do this, do that, do the other thing. It doesn't work that way. You know, they're still adults. You know, they've had these full, rich lives. You can't just go around saying, oh, you're old now, you know, do whatever I tell you to. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> and if you think it does work act that way, they'll dissuade you of that notion in a hurry. So you, you have to walk this line between they're not all there anymore and they're kind of doing some silly stuff, and respecting their own individual individuality as a person and also loving them dearly even when they're being kind of crappy people um on one side at least it's the issue we're having but why why do you why do you do this car why do you do this so i'm, I'm not even certain what i'm getting at with this other than it's hard you know, it's hard to figure out what you're supposed to do. And what do you do with them? You know, my grandmother was in New Jersey living in this huge house all alone. You know, what do you do with them? She can't live with us. She can't do stairs. You know, I live in a split-level center entrance colonial, which means that you want to go outside, take the stairs. You want to go to the bathroom, take the stairs. You want to go to the kitchen, I hope you're on the top floor, otherwise take the stairs. You want to do anything, you got to take the stairs. You know, there's, there's no way to avoid taking these stairs. Not quite as bad as an apartment building, but we don't have an elevator either. You know, so she can't live with us. We figured that one out in a hurry. You know, so what do we do with her? Well, we have to get her an assisted living place. Well, it's not assisted living. It's independent living. Think senior dorms. Anyone who's been through college, it's really dorm-like, except really nice. Like, if imagine your dorm building had the dining hall built in, and the food was cooked by a four-star chef, and your dorm room had a living room and a kitchenette, and a bedroom, and its own bath. Yeah, that's what these are like. They're like apartments, and then they feed you. I mean, really, if I had the choice, I'd move into one of these things. Jeez. They feed you. You hang out with people. You have your own room. It's great. It's like a meal-included apartment building. I'll take that any day of the week. And works already. But... 
you know, and you don't want them to feel like they're getting, you know, shoved away in some dark corner that you're going to forget about them, so you have to visit them. Yet at the same time, I'm working, you know, a couple days a week here, so it's not like a couple days a week. I'm working two jobs six days a week. You know, it's it's not like I have time for much. Between jobs, Minecraft, and friends, you know, it's like, all right, um, free time, free time, free time. What's that? I actually had to go on a schedule. Like, I've never scheduled myself when I'm having free time. Um, and I, I had to do that, like, what nights I'm going to come home early. Um, and I actually had to start doing that. Um, because I, uh, I wasn't getting enough sleep. Because I was trying to hang out with my friends a couple nights and then catch my... Come on! Let's go. There we go. You know, hang out with my friends and then record and this and that and the other thing. And it's like, yeah, it's not working. You know, it led, leads to four hours of sleep on nights when I should be getting a heck of a lot more than that. And I'm just like, <sighs> when I'm at work, which is bad when you're a delivery driver uh, or when you're a computer tech, for that matter, even though I sit behind a desk. You know, so all of these things rolled together. It's like I had to schedule myself my free time. Like I only go out like three nights a week. I have to schedule myself my free time. It's weird. So this is what being adults get feels like. I mean, I've only been doing it for a week, but it's working pretty well. I mean, if you guys noticed, I don't think I missed a video this week, or did I miss Monday? I may have, but I started this thing the whole thing Tuesday. But uh, it's actually working out kind of well because even if the way my my breaks are spaced out, even if I miss a block, a set of block recording like this. Like, I'm just, I'm way too tired to record. And I need to go to bed. Even if I miss a full block record, you know, I usually have time the night before the episode's supposed to go up to record it. Um, these next couple weeks, this next week or so, might be kind of a bounty of videos for everyone. Um, partially because I need to sit down and play something. And I needed a game that I could blabber during, like, trucks. Um, the, the, the downside is that partially because I've been, I'm looking at recording an SMP episode and I'm like, oh, an SSP episode. I just recorded two episodes on the server with Amos. Well, one episode with him and then one episode just derping through the nether. And I'm like, I, I need to take a break before Minecraft and then I need to Minecraft and then I, oh, I'm going a little hot. And then I need to Minecraft and then I need to Kerbal. So... Let me let me get all the anger and aggression out of my system now by playing a nice, relaxing game of trucks before I end up going completely bonkers. And then tomorrow when I'm at work and I'm all right, we going, we're going. And then tomorrow when I'm you know at work and obviously not playing games on my laptop, I'm gonna be encoding and, and encoding and uploading and encoding and uploading and uploading and encoding all these videos. Um, Cause that's what I do. And then I may try and get some more stuff recorded in the car. I don't know whether I'll, it'll be trucks maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be trucks or, or something else. Um, but I'm going to try and get something recorded in the car. I don't know. Recently, I've been having more and more issues recording things in the car or playing games in the car. Like, I'll actually get motion sick. Trucks is especially bad because my brain goes, wait, what? Like, it's close enough to what I'm doing and different enough from what I'm doing. Um... Oh, I didn't even notice he was back there. Okay, buddy. You know that whole thing about trucks make wide turns? Yes, we do. Oh, this this trip is getting worse and worse and worse. I don't even want to know how much my truck repairs are going to be. Uh, I'll still get there early, though, by the looks of it. 5, 6.30, yeah. Oh, my word. But, yeah, so what do you do with old people? You know? <laughs> Wise people. They're not old people, they're just wise people. 
Ugh, what else has been going on in my life? Well, recording's gone well. I actually uploaded that mod spotlight, brought in a couple more subscribers, saying to find more of those to do. I mean, that thing already has, like, a silly number of views on it. Oh my word, it has, like, 3,000 views? Okay, that's silly by my standards. Most of my videos get, like, 11. But, uh... You know, and then on top of it, like, in the middle of this, all right, so it, it like, has a thousand views, and I'm super excited, because it's going to look good on my monetization, right? No. Because YouTube slaps a content violation on it, which means that I don't make any money on it, until that got cleared up, which turned into a, it's Minecraft, what are you guys doing? So, as far as I can tell, what I think happened is that someone saw it had an ad, probably some kid didn't understand or someone with a stick up their rear or and didn't understand that we have permission to put ads on minecraft videos then filed a content flag which youtube being youtube automatically put it up for review and pulled the monetization from it uh and then sent me an email which i didn't see on the first day because i didn't it was actually underneath three or four emails saying you have a new subscriber you have a new subscriber subscriber has left you huh um actually the subscribers left came first and that's actually why i didn't see the initial the initial youtube message um what i have to say by the way this this ties into something else as i ramble okay if you're gonna unsubscribe from a channel tell the off the channel owner why you're unsubscribing especially if it's a small channel where we'll actually notice if there's an unsub Tell us, okay? If we're doing something wrong, or there's a series you really like that we aren't doing, do it. Tell us. Private message. Public message. Find us on IRC. It doesn't matter. Just tell us why you want to leave. We will try and fix the issue. Because if you don't, the mod, the YouTuber will sit there going, Oh God, am I not popular? Did I do something wrong? Why is my viewer angry at me? What did I do? And the answer is, possibly nothing. They're just purging their video list. You know, <laughs> like... Oh, you're kidding me. You are 100% kidding me. I cannot wait until I can get this thing into... Port Harbor, whatever that's called. Anyways. Yeah, it's like... Tell us. Tell us what's going on with you. So anyways, in the middle of all this, the YouTube thing comes up. So I'm like swearing at, I'm, I am at my desk at work swearing at YouTube going, what do you mean if there's a content violation? This is Minecraft, like the other 100 Minecraft, 100 Minecraft videos on my channel. Not quite 100, but the other bunches of Minecraft videos on my channel that you've never had an issue with before. Was I humming something that's copyright? If I was, I don't remember doing it. Uh, yeah, by the way, humming and or singing something that's copyright, that will get you a content flag. Uh, one of my other friends found that out. Yep, content flag. Oh, jeez. You know, I thought car trucks were scary when, I, when I'm in a car. Trucks are scary when you're in a truck. I swear these two bloody pressure tanks in my back seat. But yes, I'm actually using my gamepad today, which seems to be doing a lot better than the joy than the wheel does. So I just pulsed my brakes a little bit there. Um, I I actually try not to slam on my brakes in these trucks. Um, I think it's force of habit from driving a car in snowy conditions and crappy weather. Um, but I generally try not to uh, slam my brakes. What's going on with my map? Like, doesn't it look like I should just be able to go straight and then take a left? Or is there some sort of truck exclusion through the middle of a town or something? That's really common in the States, by the way. Any Europeans here? That is wicked common in the U.S. Uh... Let's just obey the signals. Oh, it's an overpass. Oh. Let's make this turn. Get 
our truck back into alignment. Let's get our high beams off because we really don't need them at this point. Yeah, so that's like an outpass to get it. I don't understand that route. I don't understand why this exists as it is, and this isn't just over there, but okay. Hey -o. I think I had the right of way there. I don't really understand European traffic laws, but I think I had the right of way. Don't die. Don't stall. Don't die. Don't stall. Don't die. Don't stall. Don't die. Don't stall. Let's get over. Come on. Come on. Sounds like I damaged my gearbox, actually. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You... Middle of the bloody highway. Ooh. And don't you dare get tired now. We are less than an hour out. We are about an hour out. We are going to make this delivery, okay? We are going to make this delivery. It actually looks like it's going to wrap up to about the right time for an episode, too. For once. Now, we have a rest stop up ahead, but I'm not going to take it. Because I have an I have an hour left, I'm going to be in a town, I'm going to get repaired in between episodes, and we can deal with this. Okay? Okay. Got up to 11th gear, that's a good thing. I'm now actually switching that oh, my fingers around, because my index finger is getting mighty tired of just holding down the trigger button. So, let's get this bad boy into town at some point in the nearby future. Okay, did anyone see that speed limit sign when I went by? I thought it said 90. Probably not by how much trouble I'm having staying on the road here. How about we, uh, how about we hang out about 80, shall we? <sighs> Come on, buddy, we are 42 minutes out. Do not fall asleep on me now. What on the name of all that is holy is that? No. From my angle at first, it kind of looks like a cow rather than a lattice work, so I was like, what on earth is that? Alright, we are almost in town. We are almost in town. We will have about $99,000 99, euro when we get there. Let us get our blinkers on. I don't even know what town I'm in. Blinkers on. We should start coasting now. Let's get our blinkers on for the exit. I need to get this thing repaired. 18 minutes remaining. By the way, Ausfahrt, that does mean exit. So let's slow this baby down. And yes, everyone else gets to wait for me. Really? I didn't even cause that. He ran into me.
Oh, I did a number on that guy. Okay, we're just going to drive away from that. We are just going to drive away. No doubt my vehicle is heavily damaged now. We are just driving away. Um, yeah. Oops. I don't even know how I managed that one. But I... Like, I didn't see him at all. He just... Suddenly he's under my front wheels? I don't understand it. Okay, I'm delivering to a quarry. I don't think there's actually a repair shop down there. Um, God, that doesn't sound good. That really doesn't sound good. I think I did something really bad to my transmission. Like, really, really bad to my transmission. Oh my, if I didn't even know this was here, I would never have guessed this was here. What do they need pressure tanks at a quarry for, anyways? I don't think I have time to find a parking space. I don't. I think I'm just going to drop this load right in the middle of the place and just find my parking space. Yes, game, I get it. I'm pulling into my delivery site right now. Alright, I panicked a little bit there. Ow. Actually, it really looks like I could just spin this truck around. There we go. Nice. Almost level 8. About halfway. I should have a fair amount of money. Gears transport. 99k. Let's go at the bank here. No. No, 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 no. Maybe in another run or two. But anyways, guys, I think that about covers it for today. Looks like we have a good length episode. So, I will see you next time in trucks. If you like this video, leave a comment. Give me a like. Subscribe. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And happy trucking.